I'm going to go something like, Lord, 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 with a soul, Lord. Okay? So, we have to know the notes. We have to learn the notes. Now, let's at least start. Let's at least start. Even if I take more time than I should on this and we don't get to some of the other stuff here, let's at least start taking a look at the signs. Because this is the other part, and I'm hoping what will happen, is even for you, Nick, or for you, Neil, when you look at these, go, oh, I'm beginning to have some understanding what's going on here, okay? Now, the way Father Smolikov, who put this together years ago, and I like the way he put it together. I tell my students all the time, Daddy, am I Russian? I really like Feyre, because Feyre goes step by step by step, like kindergarten upwards. Well, that's what Father Smolikov did. What Father Smolikov did, they said, let's start with the simplest signs, the very simplest ones. Okay, so if you take a look, page what page? Seven. Page seven. Okay, so now let's again, let's stay with Lord, all right? If I have Lord, and I, and I want you to know, I want you to at least know, look, in fact, when we were talking about this today, you know, why did they say something like Napisal Kartinia in Russian? He painted, you know, he wrote pictures. Because when, when icons were first painted, you were really writing stories. When these people were designing these, they were doing them to a great extent of something someone could look at and they could see, they could see the similarity. Here, let me tell you what I'm talking about. We're going to learn in a little while. Anybody remember? Anna, remember what that is? You remember, Kira? The dog. No, well, pigeon. not exactly. Pigeon. It's a pigeon. It's a swift pigeon, okay? So you can almost look like a little fat belly of a pigeon, and you can see the couple wings there, okay? If you look at this, the most simple of all of them, it's called a foot. And it's almost like looking at this. Okay? And then what it looks like? It's a foot. We know, we know that a foot is a sign that only has one note sung on it. There's no, never more than one note. And we know that it's going to be, you know, one of the things I tell people when they're learning Russian, Dasha, you know Russian, I'll say to them, if you take Russian prepositions, or you do also, Nick, if you take Russian prepositions and you're trying to decide what case a preposition takes in Russian and you don't know, guess genitive. Well, if you're taking what's the most common length of a sign? Kira? Two-fourths. Two-fourths. Now, I'm going to, again, I'm going to talk, most people call it a half note in Western, you know, Western. I'm going to call it more two-fourths, because that's when we're more used to talking about it, two-fourths. So I know that when I see this, when I see this, I'm going to sing Lord for two-fourths, for a half note. And a half note, again, as I've indicated to you, is about what Father Smolikov way has it, is about like taking your arm and going one, two. One, two. Lord, Lord. Okay? Yeah, gosh. Gotcha. Right. We do. We tend to sing half time, which is fast, twice as fast almost. So when you say, "Lord," that makes sense. But it, for those who study Western notation, that's more of a quarter note. Lord. That is true. I, 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 I've noticed because when I notice yeah. the Western notation, you know and, and like, it's not wrong. A whole note in Western notation will be oh. Okay. Yes. So whole note okay. Is, oh. So we're doing it in okay, half time. But that's okay. It's just something that people, for their reference. Yeah. And I've noticed by the, I can't remember what yeah. it's called, by the crazy thing that's in front of Western notation, yeah. normally you would have either 4-4 oh, or 2-4 on the treble clef, <laughs> right? You would have 2-4. We, we should be at, we are singing at about, about double yeah. speed. That's okay. It's just for, that, that's for, fine. For people to that's fine. I'm glad you raised that. Just so people I'm glad you raised that. Understand. And I would also agree with that even a lot of times when we see 2-4 sign, even in my own mind, I go, I don't know if we're holding that, even that no, one, okay? It's a little quicker. To, but at least that's the basic standard, okay? Yeah. And so what happens then again, guys, I want everybody to understand this. Now I'm singing one, I'm looking at the syllable. Two, the next thing really that I really have to look at, even more important than this, is again, noticing this. So I know I'm going to sing that at the pitch of soul, and I'm going to hold it for two fourths, and I only have one note there. Now, Neil and Nick, I think you walked in, a, you may have walked in, you may have been in. Neil, you walked in a little late. I know, for example, when I look at this, this is an intricate one, I got three notes on there. How do I know that's got three notes? Again, yeah, here, going to memorize You know it. what that's called, Kira? Oh, what? I thought she was going to give the answer to what the notes are called. Oh, no, but I know that you have to hold it for three notes because you have three, you have, um, Mepha Sol. Yeah. You have to hold it for three notes. And, and I know when I look at, I mean, I want you to understand. 
you can learn 40% of this very, very quickly. You can learn 50 or 60% very quickly. It's the last 40%. Here's the point I want you to know. You know, Nick, whether it's you, Neil, or whoever it is, and all of a sudden somebody walks away, I'm telling you after three or four, three or four times of this, you're going to at least recognize, okay, I understand if I was looking at this, I'm going to go, Lord. And if I saw this, I'm going to go, Lord. It's a huge difference. Huge difference. And you can learn that very quickly. And that's why I'm again indicating that I think it's more like a GPS, because this tells me exactly what I need to do. All right? What's number two, a foot with a cutter? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me try. Now, again, there's a lot of little things you want to watch, and they're, and they're, they're, you know, they're not that difficult. So if I've got the foot, it's going to be at least, let's at least say it's two fours, okay? But if I take a foot and I put a little comma, almost a comma by it, that comma becomes known as a cutter, and it cuts the length of that. And if you see a whole bunch of, sometimes you might see us singing a song, especially Nick or Neil, you know, if you're new to this whole thing, and all of a sudden you see us going, you know, I, I think we, oh, you know what, in what, what canon is it, Dari, maybe Christmas? Mm -hmm. We go, oh boy, yeah, you know. That's because you'll see a whole bunch of these all in a row, and we go, oh boy, yeah, because they're all a staccato type of sound, because now I've cut the the length of that down to one fourth. Is the cutter consistent oh. throughout? So regardless of yes. what the, the parent note is, you're going to have yeah. the Yes. As a matter of fact, let me, okay. again, Neil, you walked in a couple of minutes late. This, no, 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 don't misunderstand me. The system is called croquet. It's called croquet, and croquet is the Russian word for hook. And the reason it's called that is the most common, and if you want, you know, you're looking, and I know you're trying to figure something out, you'll see a lot of these. This is a crook or a hook. Now, that's, again, it's going to be two fourths long. But if I put that on it, one I'm going to make it one fourth. Okay. I'm going to shorten it up. And as soon as you start to see those, you'll, you'll see, and you'll see again that the most common, the most common, I'm going to make one with four. This is actually called a stop. And if you see a stop, it's four fourths. Okay. And so it may not be as four fourths of width, but we're going to hold it on that one, okay? And even though there are many, many, many of these, the ones that we actually see very often yeah. are only about. I mean, really, it's the same ones repeated. We probably, by the time you get to about 30 of these or 40 of these, you can probably say 80% of all the singing that we're doing is in the first 30 or 40 of these. This is, this, is not, this is not this kind of system that you go, I could never learn this. No, it's really not that difficult. Now, there's, again, if, if you think of, what is it, would you wish yourself such a guy? What are we doing in English? What are we calling that? The fifth ode, you know? Because we have that whole intricate thing where you go, my gosh, there's 25 notes here and there's only one little space on this little Because that's one of those melodic patterns that you just know. Is that one of the circle things? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The fita type of thing, too. The circles on that. We always seem to go all the way around with the notes. Yeah, that's a good Oh, let me ask one question. Yeah, you got to go. The foot and the hook, they're both half notes. They're both two notes. Do you simply utilize the hook when it's on the lower? Good, good, no, good, good point, Neil. Let me, let me tell you, this is another one. This is another one of these. This is. Do you have to go too, Neil? I, I have to go in five minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, if you have to go, go. Let me answer your question, though. Part of part of the problem is with us particularly, with us particularly, because we picked it up so much in memorization. All of these different. This, this does exactly the same function as that. They don't do anything different. Why do you have two of them? Because what they were meant for is one would be, for example, in the syllable that was accented. One might be in a place that was the beginning of the word. So when they were done in the beginning, they had absolute specific reasons why they were in that point. Because none of us, you have to understand again, you go back here 60 years ago or 70 years ago, the people who went to church go went five days a week for two hours a day. Even from my time, I started going three days a week, and we went one time singing a week. So you go, okay, we're learning the basics, but we really don't know the whole mysteries behind all these things. So there's a whole bunch of signs that you come along and say, they all do the same thing. Why not have one? And sometimes when we've converted into English, we really have simplified it and said, let's just use these and not use so many of them. But there's no difference in that. The function was where they sat in a word, where they sat in a sentence. Now, let me give you one other example of this thing. It is extremely common, it's extremely common to find this sign, sorry, this sign in the very first word of any song. song. It's called a pilot. You know, you light the pilot on your stove. The pilot is in the beginning of a song. 
It's very, very common if I see, let's say I have mercy, ending a song. Right, I see that. I most always see a cross at the end of a yeah. song. So I know that the pilot and the cross, that's why they're there. But if you come to me, and maybe somebody in Russia could help us and say, when do you have the hook and when do you have the foot? I don't know exactly. I, I just know they're From my there. Perspective, a hook, a foot, and a pilot, all the same Exactly thing. the same thing. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. One note. And that's a critical aspect. You know, because again, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't take very long before you look at this and say, oh my gosh, I really can follow most of what's going on here. So where we want to, let's leave it at this point. We want to at least recognize that we need to know the scale, and you really have to know the scale. And you don't want, you know, you can't go walking around again. They don't have it written there. And we want to at least recognize that we're singing syllables, and what we're going to do is we're going to learn. What we're learning, the way he put this together, is we're learning all the signs that are one note. In fact, let me give you a couple other videos. The same thing. We can say that a hook, now let me make another point here, okay? And then I've got to go. Again, this is something that happened especially before the red notes were there. I can have th this. You will see in many songs, and that's what Dari was saying about probably 90%. You'll see this, you'll see this, you'll see this, and you'll see this. They all do the same thing. Okay. And this is called a hook, a dark hook, a bright hook, and the brightest hook. What was the point of them? The hook was meant for notes in the low range. The dark hook was meant for notes in the low part of the regular range. This was meant for the high notes in the regular range, and this is for the highest. So I should be singing. You can sometimes, sometimes when I can see what Father Mitrofan did in English, I'll think, oh, he made a mistake here. Because what I ought to have here is I should never see this note here. Yeah. I should see, for example, sol right here, and I should see liao. But all four of those, the hook, the dark hook, the, 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 the bright hook, and the brightest hook, they're all one note, two, two fourths. And now that we have the red notes, those are giving us the Pre information. Precisely. That would have precisely. That's them. exactly it, Neil. The red notes didn't come into being until the 17th century. And before that, you, before that, when people sang songs and learned them, they didn't know exactly what the note was, but they knew the basic range. And what you did is you memorized, and so you learned songs after a while. That's great. You're picking this up pretty quickly. Okay. Why don't we leave it at this? I know you got to go. Let's leave it at this for today. And I was going to do a few other things, but I think this was important to start off, that people can see where we're going. So let's call it a day at this and not try to do something else, because I'm going to go to quarter after, but it's almost 10 after. Let's leave it at that. Nick, you have a pretty good feeling about this? Yeah, I have been studying a lot. Well, yeah, but it's not, it's not, go ahead. You have another question? Yeah, well, then could we one day take, like, just say tone to the resurrection notes. Can we just sing them in Slavonic? Yeah. Because tone two is... They, to me, Tone 2 doesn't seem to have that stuff. Yeah, and again, I want to repeat, Anna and Kira, you came in a little late. I want you to understand the, the plan on this. That's, I, I am disappointed that more people on here, and I just don't get what's going on in their mind. And see, the, this is what I run into over and over again. So, when, you know, next week or the, the second time we do this, the Deplacido girls come in here, and then we go, but you weren't here for the beginning. Now you don't know what's going on, and you'll sit here crying. That's what happened. The kids cry, and they get frustrated. But, but the point I want to make is there's three things that I want to do here. I spent more time in the beginning of this because I want to make sure we're clear on it. I want to make sure we're learning the notes. Then the next thing we have to do, and again, you walked in late. I said, maybe I, maybe I did say this when you were ready here. The next part I want to do is, I guess I would call it the insurance policy if Father Pimmon drops dead. Because if Father Pimmon drops dead, and we celebrate the feast of the entry of the Mother of God into the temple well, with those odes of the canon, <laughs> nobody knows them except maybe Daria. Maybe man. Daria. So then you go, well, what are we going to do? We're never going to sing these anymore? So I want to sing things that we are singing. Do you learn them? And then what I want to do is I want to take things and say, okay, I'm going to start off with the Christmas canon right now. Because we're not still real sure of the second canon of the Christmas the, the second canon of the Christmas canons. Okay, but then I want to be able to say, even in our books, there's, there's another Cherubic hymn. There's another melody for Ch Cherubic hymn. There's another melody for Holy, Holy, Holy. And we've never learned them because we don't get far enough. And so I want to learn new things. I want to be able to say, okay, what about the canon for, like, say, Panahira? Now, you can even say, I like to sing Panahira, the canon, Boda Prashad and Slavonic. But sometimes I get a Panahira where nobody has the slightest idea of Slavonic. They don't know a word. And then you go, yeah, Dabowski was a good example. Then you end up going, we really should learn how to do this in English. That's the three parts I want to divide. I kind of want to go 20, 20, 20. 
and I certainly want to be able to stay till 6.15. Now again, I started this a little later at 5.15 because I thought it might be hard for you to get out at 5 or Neil get out at 5 and whoever else comes, but we'll see what's going on, okay? Is the third part the dozens? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I want to explain that to you too. Let me, we have one more minute here and probably you're on in a rush. I, that's one thing I would at least like to explain to you. For example, if you take the Podobans, Podoban Nebestam Chinom, the, the, the ranks of the heavenly host, that has six strophes to it. There's going to be six parts to that. I've got to look at that all the time, and especially if I'm translating it from the Slavonic to English, go, okay, do I have commas or periods? So there's going to be six. Nebestam, the ranks of the heavenly angels. If I do Podoban Yakodoblia, or if I do da, says, da, ya, says, na, ya, ya. those have nine. And, and, and when you're singing them, you see, I know what your point is, Anna. When I'm singing them, I literally have to almost be watching where I'm at to go, okay, the first three have this little pattern, then four has a little difference, and five and six do exactly the same thing, and I've got to know I'm the seventh one or I'm going to screw this up. If I can do O Preslav Nietzsche, the O Preslav Nietzsche, O Most Glorious Wonder, that also has nine. But for Domin Radu, so rejoice, rejoice, mom. that doesn't have any set pattern to it. It can have more. Uh -huh. But we really need to know those also so that people again can say, because when we went, when we went to Riga, I mean, really the shock to us was, oh my gosh, we have retained this almost exactly the same way they're doing it. So we've been careful now. I try to tell people all the time, in the 50 years that I've been involved in this church, in the 35 years, 36 years now that I've been running the church, we haven't lost one single thing. If you see some of the Podobans, and you say, why don't we sing that Podoban? We haven't known that Podoban since I was here. Okay? So maybe there's some way of picking them up, but we need to learn those and not lose anymore. Okay? Thank you, George, for doing this.